Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a video on the Colorado Avalanches offseason as they're doing a great job. They were able to re-sign Josh Manson for only $18 million, 4.5 per year for a shot-blocking, solid two-way defenseman like him who's not a slouch in the offensive zone, but I think people know what I mean when I say this. He's not going to wow you in the offensive zone. He's going to wow you more in the defensive zone at being a guy that can shut guys down. Great job there. They also, of course, made the move to keep Valerie Nachuskin around for 6.125. Um, a guy that's paid only a little bit less than Brock Betzer, a good, quick skating, big player that had his best days with the Abs as well, and is a guy that's still only in his mid twenties and going to continue to grow. So I think, at first, I thought that might have been a little rich for my blood, and then when I examined and and looked at it and researched it more, I was like, you know, that's kind of expected, maybe a bit high. Maybe we thought in the high fives, but I think Nachuskin's fine at that pay scale. So I would give the Manson and Nachuskin moves an A for sure because both of those guys were key cogs in your Stanley Cup wins. Both guys that they were able to acquire the last couple years, Manson last year, and really become key cogs in the winning culture of the team. McDonald, to me, made sense to keep because Jacob McDonald was somebody that whenever he had to be called up for a few games, he would play well. He's a good minor league depth defenseman. So why wouldn't you keep him? You only kept him for two years. You're paying him 762 uh, five or something like that. But the big move they made is, it seems like Darcy Kemper is going to end up being an Edmonton Oiler, um, potentially, if that ends up going to that. For, or no, 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 actually not Darcy Kemper. But Jack Campbell's going to be able to. Uh, sorry, I screwed that up. Uh, Campbell, it seems like, might become an oiler. And Darcy Kemper's going to go elsewhere. But he wants around, I think, the $5 million per year. That's why that's that was rumored to what Campbell was. That's why I screwed that up in my head. But Gorgiev gets to come to the Avalanche. And I think this is huge for Gorgiev. He's going to get paid 3.4 per season. Which actually is kind of generous for him. Because you're doing that expecting off of what we all think Alexander Gorgiev's potential to be is not what he was able to do recently because recently he would he would probably be worth more 1.4 but we know from the beginning and when he was AFC getting the playing time it wasn't buried because you have one of the biggest studs in Sesterkin and he had Lundqvist before him I think this guy's better than what's seen statistically and I think that's what we're going to see with the Colorado Avalanche. And then last but certainly not least, they kept a good bottom six player in Andrew Cogliano uh, for a total of $1.25 million. He's a, still a good quick skater at 35, still a hassle along the boards and a pest in the defensive zone. So I think he's a good player to keep on the veteran low of only a small $1.25 million buck. They were able to keep McDonald, who's also a good 7th, 8th defenseman. So they were able to keep the depth guys, but also bring in another very good goaltender that's going to be able to mix with Pavel Francois. And I think that's going to work out very well. They were able to keep Nachuskin around and also keep Josh Manson around. So, uh, yes, they lost Darcy Kemper, but if we think about it, and I'm a, one of the biggest fans of Darcy Kemper, he wasn't the main reason they won the cup in the postseason. He was one of the main reasons why they got there in the regular season. But then he was a little bit shaky, so it seems like they figured out a way to obviously win without Kemper and with different goaltending. And I think Gorgiev is just hitting the cusp of what he can be. Also, going to Colorado, he's now going to be able to come what we think he can be. And the biggest question for me, which is why I would say their moves in the offseason are all an A, um, where the Gorgiev one is still an A, but one that it has a question mark with it, is it might be more of a B if he's just a great platoon piece with Francois. It remains to be seen how good is a full-blown starter if that's what they decide to do Gorgiev's going to be. But that's my only question I would have. Everybody, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep our channel growing to the next goal of 300 or more.